Okay, guys, hear me out. An acorn cap as a hat. This thought occurred to me a couple of days ago, and now I just... I have to make it. I can't think of anything else until I have made this acorn cap hat. So that is, in fact, what we're doing today. I think this would be a really fun way to use up some scrap fabric. I still have a bunch of brown wool left over from when I made my winter coat, which I think would be perfect for this. Thing is, I haven't thought at all about how I want to make this. And besides that wool, what materials I want to use. So I think we're gonna have to take some time to design this before I jump into it and get started. Let's design the acorn cap hat. So I'm thinking a beret, right? I mean, if it's at least a little bit vintage, that's a definite plus. And I would love for it to have the little stem. And then I think if we're to do a top view with the stem in the center, I think it should have that pattern, that kind of roof tile style pattern. And I might be able to embroider that with my sewing machine, maybe? Uh, maybe if I use a darker thread, like a black or a darker brown, that might be nice. And I think it should have an oak leaf. <laughs> um, I will draw that again and make a better one. But I think it should have an oak leaf, maybe here off the stem. Not true to size, of course, compared to uh, the acorn, but I think that would be really cute and help kind of sell the look a little bit better so that you can tell that it's supposed to be an acorn. So how do I pattern this? Beret is really simple. You just do one circle and then another one with the hole inside. Sew those together and that makes this like beret shape with um, a seam here. I'm gonna have to go look in my fabric stash to see how I want to make the oak leaf. And for the stem, I think I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna use the same wool and make maybe a very narrow tube or something. I think that would be good. Let's uh, take a look at my fabric stash. Okay, here's what I have. Brown wool to make the actual cap with. And then this green linen, I think would be great for the leaf. I did a little test batch in the center here and I kind of like it. I hope it'll be noticeable enough in the final product but I think you'll be able to tell that there's something, some kind of texture going on. But I do definitely need my other machine for this. I'm, I'm afraid the um, vintage one won't do. I could do it on this one but it's just gonna be so much more difficult and what's the point in that? So I'm gonna take my brother out um, which actually shines a light on what I'm doing. I think I'm gonna need that. And it has that automatic thread cutter, which is gonna be perfect because pulling it out from the center every time, it's just um, a lot more hassle than it needs to be. So yeah, I'm gonna thread the other machine and then continue with this.
I have a hat, kind of, but I'm a little bit pumped because it's... everything is wrong. <laughs> the hole on the inside came out way too big, like double the size it should have been, and the embroidery that I spent literally all day on, you can't see it at all. Like, at all. You have to get up so close to even tell there's something there. I will admit to you guys, I am extra bummed because this was supposed to be my kind of quick and fun and easy cheering up project. Because I haven't been feeling the best lately. This is not helping. It's not helping. I'm gonna sit down, see if I can figure out how to redo this, maybe improve this. Because I just, I really want to make this happen, but this, this isn't it. So, we'll get there, eventually, I'm sure. <laughs> Alright, I think I kind of fixed it. I noticed that the inside, um, the embroidery looks much clearer. And at first I thought it was because of the color, but now I think it's just that the bottom thread doesn't dent into the fabric as much, so it's just much more visible. So I decided to just turn it inside out, cut off all the threads. It doesn't look as neat as it did from the top, but at least it's visible and I don't have to do the whole thing again, so that's good. Um, I redid the bottom with a smaller opening. I also redid the embroidery on that. That's how I found out that I need to use the bottom thread um, and not just the inside of the fabric. So now I have my base again and it is actually proper this time, wearable and won't fall off my head. So I am now ready to move on to the little stem and the little leaf. I think I'm just gonna have to do the stem by hand because it's so thin. Um, so I'm probably just gonna hand sew that and then move on and try and figure out how to do this leaf. But yes, I'm, I'm happy, I'm feeling good about this again. Let's keep going. <laughs> I've attached the little leaf and oh, it's adorable. <laughs> this is so cute. I'm just debating whether I want to leave it floppy like this or maybe tack it down just a tiny bit on that side so that it doesn't, you know, move around so much. And I also kind of want to do a second one. <laughs> I just think two leaves would be really, really cute. Maybe just a smaller one. Should I? Should I do another one? I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna both tack it down and do a second smaller one. And then I think it's gonna be finished. <laughs> I think it came out so cute. I just, I absolutely love it. It's so adorable. <laughs> this is what I was hoping for when I set out to make this. Isn't this just the cutest thing? I do think 
it could have been a little bit bigger so that it wouldn't crinkle so much when I wear it, but you know, it's fine. I'm happy with it. The idea is pretty clear. It's supposed to be an acorn. I'm actually surprised um, by how well you can see the pattern now. It's still subtle, but that's okay. I wanted it to be. But this just gives that, you know, textured look that I was going for. <laughs> this is it, guys. This is my project for this week. I just wanted something fun and quick and relatively simple. A little bit of a quick reward project. So, yeah. This was it. I really hope you enjoyed watching, guys. I really enjoyed making this. If you did enjoy, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for lots more sewing, but also fashion, beauty, and lifestyle content. If you would like to support me through Patreon or my merch store, there are links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you so much for watching, guys, once again, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!